Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to do a review of a product that was actually sent to me by a company called NOCO. It, it's actually it's a, a, a jump start box. It's called the uh, GB, uh, the GB70. Um, it's a booster pack. It's a heavy duty booster pack. Um, I did open the box up just so you know, just to take a look at it and see what it looks like. But basically this is the unit itself. So uh, let me open it up. We're going to look through it together and we're going to uh, do a, a review to figure out uh, um, how it works and if it works the way it's supposed to. Um, I can tell you a couple of good things about it that I, that I like and I'm actually going to tell you one thing that I don't like about it. Um, so uh, let me open it up. We're going to open it up together and let's see what it looks like. Oh, and this one, all of it. This is a video for another day. This is something else I just picked up. All right. All right, this is how it came. It came sealed like this here. Obviously, I did open it up. Um, it does come with the instructions. Uh, I have no idea what language this is, but you know, most of it is, is in English. You can, you can read it. Um, this is the booster pack itself. Uh, that's how it comes. Um, just like this, very small, compact unit. Uh, it does come with this paper over the top, which tells you to charge it before you do anything. Uh, so I, I did charge it already, um, just so you know. This is the booster cables itself. It actually seems like a fairly decent length for boosting a battery. Uh, there, you have plenty of, plenty of distance on it. Um, the next thing that I, that I do see that this actually has on here too, let me just put these back on where they belong, it's my uh, obsessive compulsive nature. Um, all right. You turn the unit on, and you can check the state of charge by these uh, these lights right here. And as you can see, I did charge the unit up, so it is fully charged. Uh, but basically, what you would do is you would put it on the charger and charge the uh, the unit up. Now, this is what I don't like about it. Uh, when you get it, I'm going to put this on the side, but we'll talk about that later. When you get it, you get. Let's get this stuff out of here. When you get the unit itself you'll get the uh, little carrying case, which is actually pretty nice because you can throw it inside your vehicle. Um, you get the adapters, you know, to, uh, to put it into your cigarette lighter and you can charge it through your cigarette lighter. Basically, you would just plug it into the lighter and you would plug it in this end right over here. Like that. You would plug it into your cigarette lighter, and now you can charge it while you're driving. Uh, Time-wise, I'm not sure exactly how much time it, it takes to charge it, but you know it'll take a little while. Um, this one is the actual, as you can see, it is for a, a USB, where you can plug it into um, any kind of computer or anything like that, and you can charge it through that. And you'll just take this, and you slide it right into here, like that. And then you can plug it into any kind of a uh, a charging device that you'll have in your car that is capable of getting a USB or you can plug it into whatever you like. What I did is I had an old phone laying around that had the, the connector like this where you could plug it into it like this and you could plug it in the wall and you could charge it up in your wall without having to worry about charging it up in your car while you're driving. That's the thing that I didn't like. I think that the unit should have come with, a, with a, an optional wall type charger so you can charge it in your home uh, without any kind of issues. Um, and like I said, the, uh, the, 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 the one good thing that I do like about it, and this happens frequently, you know what, let me turn you up here so you can see I'm, I'm talking to you here. All right, one thing I just want to point out is that, okay, one thing I do want to point out is that when you take a booster pack, any kind of booster pack, or you're jump starting a vehicle, you connect this, this boost, you know what? I got a vehicle over here. We're going to go over to the vehicle. I'm going to show you what I mean. If you connect this, if you take a pair of uh, uh, jumper cables and you try to jump a vehicle and you accidentally put the positive and the negative and cross them up on the battery, you'll fry your computer in the car, which is going to cost you a fortune to repair uh, because it won't just be one issue. It'll be multiple issues. So you never want to cross your, your, your booster pack um, by accident 
when you're trying to jump start it. The thing that I like about this booster pack is if you connect this up incorrectly and you connect these cables up here and you push this button here, it's going to tell you that it's not connected correctly. Um, so you know what? Let's get over there to this vehicle. We're going to we're going to connect it up incorrectly on this vehicle, and then we'll uh, we'll come back over here and we'll talk some more. So let's take a walk. All right. Let's take a walk over here. Now, as you can see, this vehicle it is an older vehicle, a much older vehicle. Actually, to be truthful, it's a uh, 1990. You don't see these around anymore. But I know that this one is the positive and this one is the negative. Um, quite simply, it's because you're, pl you're positive and negative, and just in case you didn't know. Um, this is our negative cable. This is the one that's the minus mark. That is the positive mark right there. So we're going to connect this up to the positive, and we're going to connect this one up to the negative. You should never do this unless you know that it's a safety built into the unit itself that'll tell you if it's crossed. See this? See that light lit up red? That booster pack now is telling me that this battery is dead in this vehicle. I mean, it is, I'm sorry, this, that this connections are actually crossed in this vehicle. They're not supposed to be like that. So we're going to put them back the way they're supposed to be. Negative to negative and positive to positive. And now you can see no lights lit. We'll push, press our booster pack. And you see how the lights are flashing this way here? As they're flashing right now, this is actually charging this battery up right now. See how this is lit? That tells you that the whole unit is working properly and it's actually the current is now flowing from here into this vehicle. So it says to leave it sit for 30, um, 30 seconds, um, but I'm gonna run in the back. I'm gonna, grab the, uh, uh, I'm gonna grab the key for it and then we'll come back and we'll start this up. All right, so now our booster pack, we got our key. Our booster pack is energized, and you can see the current is flowing into it. This tells me that everything is actually working the way it's supposed to. So uh, let me hop in there, and we're gonna start this up. This vehicle, I gotta, the battery was weak. It wasn't stone dead. It was cranking very slowly, like a type noise. So let's see what it does. Pretty well. And we're going to turn this off now. So let me just shut this off. Okay. Um, let's take this and let's go back over and we'll sit down and we'll talk about some other features on this thing too. Now this is my obsessive compulsive nature to reconnect everything the way it's supposed to be, but I just want to point this out to you too. Um, they have these nice little covers here that you can actually push over it. Um, hang in there one second, I gotta get my glasses. Seems like I uh, can't do anything without my glasses nowadays. Okay, now if you had a uh, uh, a cell phone or whatever. Let me grab something. I'll show you. Okay. You take your phone. You plug your charger into your phone. Plug it into the unit itself right here. You energize your booster pack. And this should come up. And there you go. It's charging. So you can charge your cell phone. You can see it's charging right here. Um, you can charge your cell phone. You can charge your... Um, your laptop, um, you could charge any any one of, a, of, of any other devices whatsoever. So, we'll set this off. Okay. Like I said, my obsessive compulsive nature wants me to put these covers back in here. So, sorry about that. All right. 
We're going to reconnect to here and here. Now, you're, you're going under your hood. It's a dark, it's dark outside. You can't see. It's, it's pretty dark. All right, let's take those glasses off. All right, your battery's dead in your car. You walk over to your car, you open up the hood. It's pitch black under the hood. You can't see negative, positive, let alone even where the battery itself is located. What's nice about this is you go over there with your, your booster pack. You want to connect your cables up to it, but you can't see what the heck is going on. You press this button right here, right there. And it's got a nice light to light up the area where you're going to be connecting your cables. So you come in with your cables, you have your light. As you have your light, you can see with your cables, you can connect them up here. And you can put your other one on there, and you know you have them on negative and positive is on correctly, so you're not going to fry something by accident. And you're able to uh, wait that 30 seconds and then boost it over. Um, I will turn this off. It does have a different feature I want to show you. The regular light. It has a strobe. It has a multiple. Right, so that way, uh, you know, you'll have a. You're in a bad spot, and you need you need somebody to see what you're doing. You'll have the light to actually, uh, you know, so people can see you. All right. Um, that's it. It's nice. It's small. It comes in a very, a very small bag like this. And what I'm going to actually do with this one here is this one is going in the trunk of my car because out of all the booster packs that I did a review on, I like this one the best. Uh, this is a heavy duty. It's supposed to start just about any vehicle. They say it's good. I think they said it was good for like 40 starts. Of, uh, of uh, dead batteries in a car. You can start a car 40 times with this before it has to be recharged. Does it last 40? I'm not sure. If it lasts one time and gets me started, that's a good thing. So, all right, uh, this goes in my car. Um, anybody wants any information about it, you can send me an email. I'd be more than happy to talk to you about anything with this booster pack. Uh, I will put a description. Sorry about that. I will put a description in the link down below um, to this company's website, uh, or it, you know what, it might even be an Amazon, but whatever it is, I'll put a link down the bottom so you can actually see it, take a look at it, get all the specs on it, and see what you think for yourself. Um, it does have the, uh, the booklets, the, um, the owner's manual for it. Uh, to be truthful, there's too much reading in here. I don't think anybody in their right mind is gonna read through this thing. Um, I wish it was a shorter version of it, that it was more direct and more to the point, instead of telling you all of this jibber jab that you really don't even need to know. Um, so I wish it was a little bit clearer. It's not that clear to, uh, to actually uh, to, to read it. Um, the first four or five pages pretty much tells you everything you need to know about using the unit itself. And it, it's fairly easy. You shouldn't have any problem with it. It's very, very easy to do anything with it. All right, so uh, any questions or comments, you need to know anything about this product whatsoever, you, uh, you just give me a call, send me an email. I'd be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Now, remember I told you about this other box here? I'm going to open that box up on the next video, and you're going to see what I'm going to review on there. I got something from OTC, and I want to show it to you and, uh, and uh, you know, give you my review on that product also. So again, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.